Hello everybody and welcome back to a Plague Tale Innocence. The first rule of survival is hidden between the legs. Wouldn't the head be quicker? You're way too soft. Shh, there are the town ramparts. We are now headed into chapter nine, leaving the safety of our beautiful chateau. We're just gonna follow Melly for a little bit here. On your left, look at this beautiful moss covered tree to get our flower for this chapter nice Lavender. and early. Are you off to a ball or something? Oh, it's my brother. He likes putting them in my hair. Aristocrats. Now Hugo isn't here to grace us with his flower knowledge, but everybody knows what lavender is, so that's a pretty What's easy one on to pick bridge? up. It's the townsfolk. They're being evacuated. Let me guess. The bite's here. Exactly. And where there's the bite, you'll also find <sighs> the Inquisition. Aren't you the smart one? And rats. You'll also find rats. Our two biggest enemies in one place. Oh, goody. No. Did you know him? A thief. I used to work with him. He was gifted. So that's the punishment for stealing. Death. I don't want to find Arthur with that kind of collar. Come on. Let's go. Melly, can you look after it? All right. I'll open this. Then I'll go take care of Arthur. All right, so where will I find the university? It's the big building at the other end. You can't miss it. Do you think we'll see each other again? I hope so. You owe me. Shit. That means you're not allowed to die. <laughs> I'll do my best. There you go. Go on. Get going. All right, Belly. Well, it's been wonderful adventuring with you. Best luck. of luck. You too. I hope you find your brother, and I hope that we can meet again at the chateau. The city folk. They know they'll die if they stay here, but you think they'll leave of their own accord? Come on, get a move on. We have to get the last ones out. Don't worry, we're almost done. The city's ours. We're going to be able to speed up operations. Those bastards. What are they doing? This is a chapter where I'm going to spend a lot of time listening in on the dialogue because there's obviously something really big going on with the Inquisition right now. They are taking the time to clear out this town. And I also like this chapter because it's the first time Amicia is out on her own with absolutely no help whatsoever. She has nobody to worry about except for herself. Wow. Over there, that must be the university. Uh, all that light, don't like this. Now this town is absolutely massive, so my hope is that the Inquisition is too busy clearing out the town to really worry about us, and we can sneak our way around. Imagine how difficult it would be to maintain and contain a town this size that is dealing with the plague. It's a way off, but you can do this. Here we go. Hey, you in there. This is your last warning before we drag you out on your ass. All right, sir. We are just getting our stuff together. Elsa, leave those places and gather up some warm clothes. Bloody bourgeois. Just let those guys pass. They are not a threat at all. They will just stand at the end of that alley and pay us no mind. But I am going to collect some stuff before we carry on here. What I can at least. There's quite a few things that I'm uh, having to leave behind. I'll go ahead and just craft a little bit of ammunition and maybe that'll let me pick stuff up. Even though, truth be told, I don't really need the ammunition. I've got quite a bit on me. Careful. Last call! By order of the Grand Inquisitor Vitalis, martial law is in force, and the city under the control of the Inquisition. Any people who choose to remain will be arrested and executed. Well, there's gotta be a reason for that. Why now? 
That's what I'm asking myself, Amicia. Now this guy here, we can take care of. You can also go around him if you'd like, but I don't really see the point. For me anyways, I have a ton of ammunition and I just have so much ammunition to spare that it absolutely does not matter to just use a little bit of it to take these guys out. This guy is by himself. Nobody is going to come looking for him. And fortunately, we have a bundle of sticks, and that will allow us to get through the rats. If we didn't have sticks to cross, it might be a different story, but I like to sort of play this chapter as aggressively as I can. That That's just kind of my play style. When and if it's possible, I like to just go through pretty quickly. Coming up on our next set of guards here, so keep ducked. You go and see if you can nick stuff with all these rats. I'm gonna go ahead and just take these guys out. We'll take out the unhelmeted guard first. He's gonna come check out his friends. And I'm gonna take him out as well. And they all died in a big pile. Well, I'll keep the rats busy. Very good. But again, they give you pots pretty much everywhere we've been so far. We have an armor crate here. And you also have a bundle of sticks, but I actually don't need the sticks. I should be fine just to sneak past them. So if stealth is your preferred way to play this, then you can absolutely get by these guys using stealth, but... I'm very impatient. <laughs> I want to just get to the next place. But what about dead things? You saw what they do to people. We have to leave. If the Inquisition takes us, rats, leave it there. He's everywhere like this. I think it is, Amicia. I think it is. Wait for those guys to finish talking. You can't use your sling while they're there, so I just waited here in order to be able to light that torch. And then before you drop down off the roof, there's some supplies here. But even if you miss them, don't worry. There is a ladder this time around, so you can actually come back and light that torch if you forget it. It's not a situation where they actually block us off, which is kind of nice for a change. Because that happens a lot with this game being linear and whatnot. There was a treasure chest over there by their dad's stuff. Now, I'm not sure if it's their dad's stuff or not, but uh, we're going to do a little bit of looting before we move on. Oh, we got some tools and some leather and some alcohol in that chest. Very nice. I think that was worth coming over here for. We're still not finished with our upgrades, so I'm still making sure to try and pick up all the more rare stuff at the very least, like leather and fabric and cord. In this alley here that you drop down into, I don't know where I am. you're I'm safe, so keep quiet. just head on What's through to this point. He is my husband! He was your husband. It's all over for him now, so get lost! Not by myself. I can't leave without him! Shut up! You heard of martial law? Wanna die before he does? Oh my goodness. I'm contagious. Get out of here! Listen to him! Fuck off, now! Oh no, Lord! Oh, I'm tired of your bullshit. I didn't sign up for this. 
you are completely safe behind this barrier. You can just head right into the house if you want to, but again, I kind of like to eavesdrop. Despite the fact that you watch that guy completely walk in the other direction, once you drop this corpse, he is going to come and investigate. So, stay ducked. Also, I am sorry for having to use your corpse as rat food. It's not very respectful. Where's the hanged man? And once he gets closer into the middle of the room, then you'll want to take him out. The reason that I waited until he was more in the middle was because I need to get through to that chest on the other side. I'm hoping I can still do it. The rats are kind of awfully close to my feet, but fortunately... I had a little bit of a gap there. There are some supplies in this chest as well as a collectible here. God, oh, that smell. So don't lock yourself out of a collectible by killing that guy as soon as he comes into the room. And you can go through the door on the bottom level, but I recommend coming upstairs. Oh, when will it stop? And I can't even pick up this fabric. Ah, oh, the thought of leaving that behind just drives me absolutely nuts, but there's nothing I can do until I get to a uh, workstation, but there is some fabric up here, so make sure to grab that. They've all been executed. I'm gonna let this guard talk to this villager here, although it is optional. That's enough. You see all these bodies. That's called discipline. Without discipline, we are no better than them rats. Without us, it would all be chaos. We should have. He's basically just going to tell the villager to get lost. It's not really anything to gain there, but it is interesting just to listen in on all the dialogue. Like I said, I just sort of like listening in and getting all the flavor text for the world around me. <laughs> While I was waiting, I knocked those bodies that were hanging into a giant pit that we're going to have to crawl through sh shortly. If you want to, you can take your chances on taking this guard out from here. He actually can't do anything to you because you're separated by this barricade. But it is difficult to sort of get a good shot in, especially once he starts moving. What I am going to do, though, is use my Ignifer to light up that torch because I'm able to do it even from this distance, which is pretty impressive. It'll make my life easier later on. And now we get to crawl into the filthy rat hole. Right. Oh. Stay calm. Oh. This is so gross. I can't even imagine what the smell would be like. We're gonna take this guard out. He is a solo guard all on his own. Nobody here to come running. If you want to get him a little bit closer, if you're worried about taking the shot, then you can use Ignifer on that torch to get his attention and bring him more out into the open, but I was able to take him out right from where I was standing. I do suggest taking him out rather than going around him though because you are going to need this little pile of sticks that's directly in front of him. And if you did what I did and used your Ignifer on that first torch earlier, you can actually go straight through the tunnel as you go back under. What's that under my- Whoa. Don't look. 
Don't look. You're a good sister, Amicia. I would not be doing all of this for my brother. I must stay true to my faith. I must stay true to my faith. Remember the scriptures. I think that I'd look. If that torch isn't lit, you'll only have the option to go over to the left here. And the reason I brought the stick is because there's a treasure chest that I want to grab. Still hunting around for goodies, although I'm still having to drop a lot of this stuff or leave it behind. But that's a good indication that I've been really thorough, I think, in having to leave things behind. So it's not necessarily a bad thing. And then this guy here. You can sneak around him. I have a pot. There's pots over there if I need them. But I'm just gonna use my Devarentis and rock. It's faster. <laughs> He died in a real awkward position. Well, that's all there was here. Not really much to see. Only two guards. We're moving right along here. Oh, but I'll never forget this smell. Oh, yeah. That smell would have been horrible. And she said it was sticky. And just the university. Ugh. See? Keep going. The cemetery. You deserve a sister of the year it's award. Annoying. I really don't want to go through that. The Inquisition must have put it here. Looks like it did this. <laughs> Clever. The Grand Inquisitor doesn't do things by house. Now we're gonna come across these little spotlights here. And as you can see, you can pivot it and move it around to create yourself a little light pathway where you are safe from rats. It'll just part the sea of rats using this little beam of light. So the Inquisition has left these behind everywhere and we'll definitely be taking advantage of them when we do see them. And finally we have another workbench. Now, I still haven't done my upgrade to be able to upgrade things without a workbench just because you come across so many workbenches as it is. And I think I'm still going to leave that upgrade because I'd much rather have my pocket upgraded, I think. Just get my final pocket upgrade and then I can carry even more ammunition and even more materials. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, and look at that. It doesn't really matter because I can actually do both. Would you look at that? Well, that looks a lot better. Kind of a rare day that I get to do two upgrades at once, so that's sort of fun. I now only have one equipment upgrade and one upgrade on both my strings and pouch for my sling. Give me a few coins at least. No. You must have something. Something worthwhile. We'll let the rats take care of that looting guard there. Every once in a while, I'll find alcohol on that corpse, but it doesn't seem to be a guaranteed drop, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. Perfect. I'm going to just move right along here. Just a short hop and a skip rate. To that window so we can come out the other side of that giant gate that here. we saw. Magister, the Episanguis. Ah, let's see. If I may be so bold, we know it comes from those rats, but what's it for? We 
Coldest, odorous. Oh. Oh. That is just one of the effects of the Episanguis. When we mix it with sulfur. But that's not what we are interested in. So why don't we let our units use it, eh? It could... It is too precious. Each Episanguis crystal must be kept for our project. Particularly as, in this form, it has been the source of some... How should I say? Regrettable accidents. Deliver it to the Bastion. That is enough for today. Regrettable accidents? Imagine you spill some on your feet. You'd have to do your patrol on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that is very interesting. Episanguis? What's that? I need to see this. Yeah, I am very curious as well, Amicia. We have now made it to the cemetery, which is not really the most ideal of spots to just sit and take a break, but it is where I'm going to call it for this video. It's a really nice stopping point before we continue on with the rest of this chapter. So we're gonna figure out what it was that the Inquisition was using this new type of alchemy in the next video. Thank you all so very much for watching and I hope that I will see you next time.